I just wanted a way to shoot the cashier, not gonna lie. Oh boy, it's the rebirth time. That ends with him saying, My name is Marcus, and then taking the most conveniently placed fucking coat of all time. Feels bad, although I'm not sure why Carl would have let them throw us in here, to be honest. I feel like... Uh, what the hell was the other thing? Little bit of the L1, and a little bit of the R1, and a little bit of the L1. Edge further to our destination, so we can rip off some random dude's legs and stick them on us. Very nice. Hooray! Evo. Yoink. Just slot this bad boy right in. Shink. I feel like we didn't we wouldn't need to crawl like this now. With one functioning leg, this one doesn't work. Heave ho! And here we are. A very tasty leg for my own personal consumption. Thank you very much. We good! Okay! Now, here's the dude that's going to tell me to find Jericho. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! Find Jericho! Cool story, my man. Jericho's going to get absolutely fucking annihilated later in the game. Very weird. David Cage wrote this scene whilst under the influence of some hard drugs, I imagine. Where are you going? Away from you. Right. Now, last time I went around right hand side so this time let's have a look around the left I suppose let's see if there's anything different to find oh there is okay thank you for your service much appreciated oh my god See that last time. Thank 
cute. Yoink. Much better. Did anything else drop? Doesn't seem like it. Dude's over there. This is just the eye, right? And we've already got the eye. Or not. Oh, wait, no, we've got turned around. Hi. I don't want to live anymore. My pleasure. Thank you. Can I make use of that? No? The part? It's like right there. Can I really not pick it up? I guess not. down here then. Fucked audio processor. Sad times. Can <laughs> I do anything with you? No, okay. Now, where was there was a dude over here? Climb that yet. Thank you very much. Wouldn't that kill us though if we took that out? Because, like, we just took it out of the other guy to kill him, and that guy immediately died. I don't know. Or maybe it can go unregulated for a small amount of time. Possibly. Okay. Last but not least, the audio processor. I wonder if there's only one of those, then, because we found it around here last time. And I ain't seeing any others. Guess it must just be the one. Which, if memory serves, was this dude right here. Indeed. Whoopsie. Fucking white noise. I should have gone for this first, actually. I love that bit. Where he puts it in, all noise shuts off for a few seconds, and then just the absolute explosion of sound. That's very well done. Here we go on our way to the cheesiest thing ever.
the bomb going. Yeah, boy. All oh, right, and he's got to rip the thing out of his head first as well, and then he can stay. State his name. State your name, cuz. Marcus, in it. Just give it the old, uh, the old one, two. Go on, look me right in the eye and tell me that your name is Marcus. Do it. All oh, right, we have to get up first. My name is Marcus. My name is Marcus. And then I'm going to take this here coat that just happens to be hanging here because of course it does. Very nice. There's still things I'm missing in this fucking junkyard. What? What? What is it? What did I miss? How? Whatever. Oh, hey! We're in the Mind Palace. I'm glad I twigged to this not being real quite a while before we had to. Hang on. I've just got to see if I can interact with that because that's how I get out later, isn't it? At the very end of the game, this is, this is how I uh, escaped was this button here. Is there, can I just sack it off right here right now? The fuck did that do? <laughs> Weird. Okay. Amanda, what's going on in my head? Hello. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Wish I could say the same. I expected you to find the deviant who killed that man. I must admit I'm a little bit disappointed. I could give a fuck. I know I should have succeeded. Never mind. I'm sure you'll show more foresight in the future. Now, I mean, we kind of want to be on a good side this time, but I don't really care. Because she's the baddie, so. What do you make of him? Absolute twat. Unpleasant, dysfunctional. And let's go unpleasant. I find him unpleasant and unprofessional. He seems to have an addictive personality has a lack of respect for procedure and despises androids, which makes our relationship difficult. You don't say. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Shoot him in the head. I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore him. As long as he hey, doesn't back up to trusted. and we avoid <laughs> conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. 
More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. And it's going to blow up in your face. The consequences will be disastrous. Oh, it sure will. The most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. Very you can count on me, Amanda. Continue your investigation and put a stop to this. So yes, sir. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. But what's that hand panel for? Ah oh, yes, Hank Hostile. Can That's I help how I like it. I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Okie dokie. New super android knows exactly where he's going. Yeah, boy. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Whenever the fuck he feels where he like was it. the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. And then change my mind and get up. <laughs> have a good old nose around. Not going to bother learning anything about Hank because I don't want any options that would uh, help me in conversations with him because I want to just tank that relationship as much as possible. Feels bad, we're not authorised. Hey, who's here instead of that android? Hello. Are you still the dick? You are. What? What are you looking at? You. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. What was that? Was that not? Could have sworn he just knocked on the glass. Weird. Anything going on down here? Oh. Hello. Go back to Hank's desk. Is there anything in here? No. Okay, never mind then. Has Hank arrived? Bit of hanky panky. He hasn't. What? What did it said go back to his desk? Oh, there he is. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I mean, we already explored, so let's listen in. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. Shit's I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's the any fan. link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. 
I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. No. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. No. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Uh -huh. Positive file, Anderson. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. Huh. Now let's go piss him off some more. Hey. Last night. Understanding, pragmatic, constructive. Uh, none of those seem particularly great. Let's talk I'm about last night. Sorry I bothered you, you with really What? No. Lieutenant. I'm not sorry. I guess I've ruined Jesus. your evening. I'm not sorry, though. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Sweet. No. Super Connor checks all the files. Uh, <laughs> talk about the hours he works. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Uh, I think the Fowler one gives them if points you have any files up, on so... Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Swing. Was that, um... Oh, no. I thought that was the one at Bellini Paints, but it wasn't. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Hey Hank, you want to uh, get real mad? Like right now? Because that'd be fun. Professional aggressive. Yeah, boy. If the situation doesn't suit you, Lieutenant, you should ask to be relieved of duties and let me work with someone else. I know exactly what I have to do. So keep your advice to yourself and mind your own business. <laughs> Determined resign resign the mission. What? No, let's threaten him. I'm going to file a report with my superiors that you refuse to work on this investigation. No. Listen, asshole. <laughs> it's up to me. I throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Oh, Omega lol. I'm sorry to disturb you. 
I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I wonder what I have to do to make him not get a lead, because I swear there's an option where Hank doesn't get a lead. Ninety-eight percent get the lead, but some don't. Hmm. No idea how that happens. Right, got a bit more time. Can probably do one or two more scenes. If it would like to load, of course. This one will start differently because we're not in the car. I wonder how we can tank this relationship today. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Uh. It's still early. You should try to get some more sleep. I'm not tired anymore. What happens if I just let them run out? Because I don't really want to ask any of these questions. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? No! I'll run you a bath. I don't want an up arrow. Draw a bath, what? Is that a thing? It's run a bath, surely. Oh, just had a police car pull up. What should I look like this time? <laughs> Three snips and the whole style changes. Incredible. Uh, let's go black this time. Seeing as we were white last time on our mostly peaceful playthrough, we'll be black this time for our dark side. Lovely. Stop. Why would I stop it? You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. That's great, Alice. Your bath's ready. Guess I already read that one. Bye. Okay, what now? Anything? The victim's name was Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Corktown. Lol. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. Oh the yes, tank the public the opinion too. Search is now in progress. No last minute reprieves Reporting from the president for me. For Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. You had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. What are we gonna do? 
We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. We can kill some more people. We can't stay here. We don't have any money. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just Dad. Feels bad. That Andrew an yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Let's -a go. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Moving determined. We're going determined, to I guess. All of those will together, give arrows up, surely. Us. I don't want arrows up. No! No, I want to tank the relationship. Fuck's sake. I think she's still distant though, which is good. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Are the Rosas outside? Pretty sure I heard them pull up. There they are. Hello. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. <sighs> How do we get out of this one, then? Oh, okay. Ben, yeah, so we swap here now. You wait in the car. Fucking joke. Rational, diplomatic, direct. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. I like that I can totally tank this relationship, at least, even if the Alice one forces me into the up arrows. Can I outpace him to the stairs? <sighs> we'd think You'd think we'd have a bit of pace on us, really, but... Damn it, no, you can't. Really? Connor, just walk up the stairs. Didn't, don't think I saw a back window for them to get out of, so what the fuck happened to them? Because I assume they're not just going to be in here. to get out without them seeing them. Interesting. Sneak past the copper ruse. Danger level 33% over there. There's our destination. Let's head this way. 52%. Come on, come on. Let's just keep going. Anyone? 20%, 40%. Okie doke. Because I fucked this last time, so... Ninety-nine percent. Interesting. <laughs>
Oh no, okay, we need to cross again then. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go. Hide here. Uh, okay. Very subtle. This is cool because I I got spotted almost immediately first time round, so never got to experience this. Uh, I guess I can hide in here. Yep. Very smooth, Kara. Metal Gear Kara up in here. Where's the next threat? Not sure. I guess we'll find out. Oh, are we good? Did we make it? Nice! Less of the emotion. Tank the relationship. That is very different to last time then. Reach the train safely. Indeed. My god, and there's still that whole other path, which is the house. And then there's all these other options from Connor Pursues Kara. Reach fence in time, don't reach fence in time and don't catch them, I guess, or something else. They're at the highway and then if they make it or if Connor catches them. Several very interesting. Sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have... Oh, no. No, it's the find the squares mission. No, anything but this. Please. Please, anything but this. Now, there is literally no choice to be made in this entire mission, if I recall correctly. It's just, look for the graffiti, and then when you finally find it all, it's go up to the boat and you're pretty much done. And then you get surrounded by the androids, but you can't say anything, so this is going to be literally the exact same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this for you because there is literally nothing that can be changed here. So, uh, yeah, see you, uh, see you in a sec. Hooray! We made it through the squares. It is completely linear, that part, so... You've already seen it. 
And if you haven't, you should uh, you should watch my first playthrough. Highly recommend it. It's in fact the best one on YouTube. So, last time we went a different way, but can we actually just walk up this? Uh, I'll take that as a no. In fact. Okay, I guess you do have to go up here and do your little slow mo dive at the end. go. Uh, hello. There we go. That was weird. I was holding to go towards the camera and he just stood there like a lemon. Supposed to be evil, Marcus, not stupid. I love the use of slow-mo in this game. There are some absolutely gorgeous shots that come from it. Imagine if I missed the grab thing and he just drowned. Okay. Fine. Let's see how it is. Shaker, shaker, maker. Mix it up and shake. Shaker, shaker, maker. See what you can make. I made a light. Good old kids' toys. Let's not get jump scared this time. Because that was the worst. Categorically. There was nothing worse than that. Hey, that's a dead end. Was it down? No, it wasn't down the end of this corridor. It's down the end of the one to the right. Three, two, one. Jump scare. Very scary. Consider me petrified. I wonder if that was north. Probably was. Pretty sure there's no other way to go but falling into the hole here, so just gotta accept my fate, toddle off along this way, and have it all fall to shit below me. Ah, boss. And as he gets up. He sees he's being surrounded by some fucking androids. I'm going to lead you into the grave, you android scum. I am the pro-human anti-android android. Welcome to Jericho. Good to be back. Cool. So apparently there are little things that you can miss, which I have missed. There, those two, those three. No idea what they are. Oh well. That is where we will wrap things up for the first evil play session. Now, admittedly, it wasn't uh, it wasn't the most evil, and we did choose a couple of things that we had to choose uh, for the evil playthrough, which were the same as what we did last time. However. From here on out, shit's going to get different. For instance, we're about to do the chase scene and we're going to let Hank fall. Uh, so that'll be interesting. 
Don't know if uh, don't know if he can actually die. I'd be a bit sad if he did because we're doing such a great job pissing him off. But uh, we shall see next time. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, please subscribe, share the videos around. I'd really appreciate that. And I hope to see you back here next time when we uh, go full dark side. <laughs> see you then.